Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build something like this in Google Sheets or Excel, all right? And this is basically an amortization table, or in simple speak, we call it an EMI calculator, all right? And what it does is it helps you basically understand on any loan you take, whether it's a personal loan or a business loan, what your pre repayment structure will look like, all right? How much, month, how much are you paying in monthly payments? And of that monthly payment, what portion is going towards servicing the interest on your loan and what portion is going towards servicing your principal, all right? So basically this helps in many ways. For personal finance, it just gives you an idea of how much you'll be paying each month and what is the cost of borrowing with um, regards to interest, all right? And also in some countries like in India, um, interest is tax deductible, so it helps you plan your finances better, all right? And similarly for businesses, it um, helps you understand um, when you have that breakdown of interest versus uh, principal repayment, you can... Um, uh, understand what your PNL is going to look like, how it affects your PNL, because interest is usually a revenue expense, and whereas um, the principal repayment comes onto your balance sheet and affects your cash flow. All right. So in these ways, it helps. Let's dive into how you can build one in Google Sheets um, or Excel. It's the same way in Excel, so you can follow along here and you'll get the idea of how to do it. All right. So I've laid out this basic um, template. I've not done any formatting or anything. It's just a basic template to get us started. All right. The first thing we need to mention is the principal amount. All right. So I'm just going to keep it simple, and I'm gonna keep it as one million, all right? So one million, and I'm gonna put a term of maybe uh, seven years, seven years is a normal uh, term, and an annual rate of 8%, which is maybe slightly lower than what you can get in India right now. The current um, interest rates are around 8.5%, recently lowered from 9%, all right? And the initial date is gonna be, we're in June 25, so maybe you can do that. And the number of payments is very simple. Since it's a monthly repayment structure, it's going to be the term, which is the number of years, into 12. All right, so we do equals B3 into 12. And the monthly rate, this is important. All right, so what this is, is basically the annual rate divided by the number of months, which is 12. All right, so equals B divided by 12. And it gives us the monthly um, rate. And finally, we calculate the monthly mortgage payment. All right, and we do this something. Uh, we do this using something called uh, um, the payment formula in Google Sheets and Excel. Um, we write it as equals PMT. And what it um, basically does is it calculates a monthly mortgage payment uh, based on a principal amount, um, the term of the loan, as well as the interest rate. All right. So it's a very useful function and commonly used function. Um, in Excel and Google Sheets. So the first thing we need to give it is the rate. And this is, remember, this is not the annual rate, this is the monthly rate that it wants. So we choose the monthly rate, and then we give it number of periods. Um, again, very simple, we have it done already. And then we give it the present value, all right, which is basically the principal. And uh, one thing to remember is we want to give it a minus sign before the principal, so that, because we'll be reducing from this amount, all right, so that's where the minus sign is there. Just remember that whenever you want to use it. And then finally, we have to enter future value. Future value is what we want um, the value of the principal to be at the end of this loan, all right? And obviously that's zero because we want to end it and end the payment completely. So we just put zero and hit enter, all right? So we can see that we have a monthly uh, mortgage payment of around 15,000 rupees, all right? So very good. The initial part and putting in our header figures is done and calculation of the mortgage payment using the PMT formula is done. So now we can dive into building out the amortization table. All right, so the first thing we need to do is um, enter the 84 months so we can structure our payments. All right, so we have 84 months from number eight. So that should be at about 91, yeah, exactly, 84 months. And then we also need our month dates just to help us know which month we are in and what that month's payment look like. looks like. So for seven years, starting from uh, 2025, that should put us at the end in I'm guessing May of 32, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, May of 32, that looks good. And again, beginning balance, very simple, all right? So beginning balance is basically just the principal amount, right? Don't auto fill here, very dangerous. And next we need to calculate the payment, all right? Payment we've already calculated, which is 15,000. So we can put that as $D, $4, because we want to lock that value and it doesn't change each month. Each, each month till the end, the payment will always be the same. That is the specialty of this mortgage payment or PMT formula, all right? So now, on this payment, we want to calculate what is the interest proportion of that payment, all right? And the way to calculate this is very simple. We just do beginning balance into monthly rate, all right? And monthly rate is not going to change. So again, we use the dollar signs to lock that value in, dollar three. So we got 6,000 rupees of this 15,000 is going towards repay, uh, paying or servicing the interest, all right? And the remaining amount of that payment goes towards 
uh, servicing the principal amount of the loan. So how we calculate that? Payment minus interest basics, very simple, all right? Um, and that can be auto filled because that's gonna be the same till the end. And how do we find the ending balance? Very simple, beginning balance minus principal, all right? Because the principal goes towards closing this beginning balance amount. So very simple, beginning balance minus principal, all right? So hit C8 minus F8, enter. So then we have about 900,000 approximately rupees. Um, not rupees, whatever the amount, whatever the currency is left, all right? So let's start from the second row again, just to give you an idea. So here the beginning balance becomes the ending balance of the previous month, right? So ending balance is on G8, around 900,000 rupees. Payment is the same, all right? Because payment will always be the same. We can just drag that all the way down and we've locked in that value so it doesn't change with the dollar signs, all right? And then now the interest is again, beginning balance into the monthly rate locked in. We can just drag it down, but I find it's easier to maybe do one row just to give you the um, idea for sure. All right, so around 6,000 rupees again, slightly reduced because the beginning balance has reduced obviously, right? All right, so now that's done. We can now calculate the ending balance again, which is equal to um, beginning balance minus principal amount, right? Hit enter and we should be good. All right, so now we can drag these columns all the way to the bottom and that's done. We'll start filling in once we populate the values. All right, so you can see, once we've dragged down all the columns to the bottom, very easily, we come to this ending balance column that has an ending amount at zero, right? Which means we've completely paid back the principal amount and also the interest has been serviced because the interest payments have come down to very small amounts because there's obviously beginning balance is very low and a monthly rate into the beginning balance at such a small amount gives a marginal payment, all right? So basically, what we can do here is we can just basically verify with one column quickly what's happening again so that you guys are sure. Um, in January of 26, we have around 936,000 rupees left to repay. We make a payment of uh, 15,000, which is the mon uh, monthly mortgage payment which we fixed earlier with the PMT formula. And then on that, the interest is the monthly rate into this beginning balance of 936,000 rupees. That's around 6,242 rupees. That's the interest payment. So the rest of that payment, which is 15,000 minus this, which is around 9,000 rupees, goes towards servicing principal, all right? So that reduced from 936,000 gives us 926,000 rupees, all right? And similarly, so on and so forth, it goes till the end, all right? And then we come to this ending balance of zero, all right? And uh, quickly what we can do is just to calculate how much uh, we're paying. We can do sum and then you can see that we're paying about 300,000 rupees just in interest. And if we calculate the principal, it gives us exactly that 1 million rupees um, that we've um, taken from the bank, all right? So that's very simply how amortization tables work, all right? If you want to get more complex, you can basically look at the year end and then sum up the year end, um, sum up each year's interest in principal amounts and put that in an aggregation table or use a pivot table to calculate that. Um, interesting, I'll do that um, in the next video, all right? And also in the next video, I'm gonna um, show you how in a business setting, uh, this amortization can be used along with the balance sheet and um, the cash flow statements to consider whether a new investment or new project is financially viable. All right, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you.